Look what I made for you. Look. You want to have some? When you're a foster parent to 34 African gray parrots, it's hard to get a word in edgewise. But Nikki Montgomery and her husband Bill Sarsons Where are you going? do their best. You want to dance? When they got into their cages, it was like a sigh of relief, you know? They didn't have to fight for their food anymore. <laughs> there you go. The dining room of their hey, Coquitlam home no. has replaced a crowded, unsanitary refuge on Vancouver Island. In the spring, the caregiver died, leaving 565 exotic birds without care. Our coverage of the crisis helped generate thousands of offers of help. It's inevitable to become emotionally invested in this project. Nikki, who works at a bird hospital, says they felt they had to take in as many as they could. I love them all, but I see the reason that we are here to help them, and that's to get them to their forever homes. This is Bobby. Bobby is an umbrella cockatoo. 200 parrots have been adopted so far, including Bobby. He went to Beverly Wall on BC's Quadra Island. The commitment of having a bird like this is huge and not for everybody. We figure that Bobby is probably about 35, 40 years old, and he will live to be 80. Their responsibility and our responsibility as animal lovers is to really do the screening process, make sure that the homes that we place them in um, understand the commitment, they understand the, the noise, the mess, the biting. The bills are mounting, though. Vet care alone has cost over a quarter of a million dollars, so a fundraising campaign is ongoing. This is Norman. <laughs> in the meantime, Bill has given every bird a name. Terry, I named him Terry after, uh, after Terry Fox, because he has cancer. He has cancer and become very emotionally attached. Come on, monkey. Indeed, more often than not, it's the birds who end up picking who they like <laughs> and clearly also who they don't. Oh, I didn't think she was going to do that. Chris Brown, CBC News, Coquitlam.